of Jet 24 Sports with Mike Thinner. Welcome on in. It's time for sports. With a win tonight at UPMC Park, the Seawolves could make history, capturing their first Easter League championship all time. Let's go to the ballpark. Easter League Manager of the Year, Gabe Alvarez, leading the Seawolves with EL All-Star pitcher, Brant Herter, towing the rubber. Herter here retiring the side in the second with one of his seven strikeouts on the night. He went for seven Ks over seven innings, allowing three hints and no runs. Bottom of the second, Jake Holton with the solo bomb for Erie. One nothing lead for the Seawolves at this point. Same frame, Elisier Alfonso with the RBI single. He gets one through. That'll score Ben Malgiri. 2 to nothing. Erie with three runs in the frame. Fans fired up for that one. Bottom five, Trey Cruz. That's a single. Gets one through to score Gage Workman. Call it 4 nothing for the Seawolves. In same frame, they weren't finished. Chris Myers at the dish. Plates Cruz on the RBI single. But that bounce. It's 5 to nothing. Erie would go up six runs in this inning. In the seventh, Holton slamming the door shut on the Rumble Ponies. Leaves the yard for a second time on the night. His two-run home run makes it 8-0. Seawolves Gage Workman added one late. And now for the final out, we go to the ninth inning. Erie had 10-0. Here's the longtime voice of the Howlers, Mr. Greg Gagne, to close it up. First pitch, Parada swings, sends it in the air, right field line. Malgiri into the bullpen. Can he make the catch? He does, and that's the ball game! <laughs> The Seawolves have done it for the first time in franchise history. Your Eastern League champions are the Erie Seawolves. The Seawolves get it done. They top the Binghamton Rumble Ponies 10 to nothing in game two of the Eastern League Championship Series as heard there by Greg Gagne. Erie wins its first DL Championship in franchise history. And with more, Jet 24 sports reporter Ashley Kaiser joins us live from UPMC Park. Hi, Ashley. Good evening, Mike. Man, after falling in the Eastern League Championship last season, this victory tonight is even sweeter for those Erie returners. A monumental day for not only the organization, but the whole city of Erie as the Seawolves took down the Rumble Ponies tonight. Just two games this series, shutting them out this evening 10 to 0. It's definitely been in the making. We've seen these guys develop all season long, and although this roster has changed a lot since that first game, there's never been a lack of chemistry in the dugout for the Wolves. I I spoke to some of the players after the game to get their reaction to winning this championship and ask them how they're going to celebrate. Kind of just uh, had confidence in one another and uh, would trust the guy behind you and uh, it paid off. I don't know if you can smell me, I smell like straight champagne, but <laughs> uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, just that 20 minutes in there, 20, 30 minutes, and uh, I think uh, we'll carry on the celebration through the night and then uh, we'll all go home and say our goodbyes and then uh, gear up for spring training. Every year you want to be in this position and we've been able to do it twice and this year pull one off, so it's, it's awesome. I was just hoping that Homer got out. I think it went out by about an inch, so I was pretty excited when that got out, but um, the crowd was electric tonight. Everyone was, I mean, it was a packed house. Um, the place was, the place was bumping and, and it, it was no better, uh, it was no better experience than playing for the crowds like that. We worked hard. We uh, worked hard all, all year on uh, controlling the strike zone and, uh, you know, grinding out at bats and, and that's, that's really who we are. You know, we're a group that uh, doesn't quit and, and likes to compete and, uh, we don't throw away our bats, and you know we've, we've shown that. I'm happy for the, for, for the, the kids. I'm happy for the staff. I'm happy for the city. Um, I'm just I'm really thrilled that we were able to bring the championship to the city. led by Eastern League Manager of the Year Gabe Alvarez. I mean, he said he just can't even put into words how he feels about this team and how proud he is. He's been with them now just two seasons and it was able to bring him to the championship each time he's been here and this time securing the victory. Of course, reporting live here at UPMC Park for Jet24 Action Sports. I'm Ashley Kaiser. All right, great stuff, Ashley. And as you see, it's a 10-0 final. Seawolves are Eastern League champions for the first time in franchise history as they take down Binghamton in Game 2 for the sweep. A huge congratulations to Team President Greg Coleman, uh, Greg Gagne as well, that entire Seawolves staff. Yeah. Unbelievable night of celebration ahead, I am sure. I, you know, we don't even see most of the work they do. It's amazing the hours that yeah. they put into this. No doubt about it. And champions for the first time. Congratulations. Absolutely. All Thank right. you, Mike. We'll be right back. Stay with us.